Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jake Jabberelli from Jabberelli.com. Just a bunch of referral links. This video is dedicated to the purpose of showing you how to download and install the SRB Miner, which is a fork of, that is a different version, of the uh, Random X Monero Miner, CPU Miner. So this correlates to the idea that I was trying to get with my introductory video earlier uh, today about how you can make more money than CryptoTab by mining SwampCoin. This will only be dedicated to SwampCoin. It's the only coin that I've been mining so far, mainly because other coins require a different wallet. And per the other video I've made uh, in conjunction with this video, you will need to have the SwampCoin wallet if you're going to mine SwampCoin. Uh, in order to make more money than CryptoTab. Now, up in the right hand corner, you should see, or depending upon the media that you're watching this from, uh, check on the link either in description. But yes, there is another link that shows you how to download the Swamp Coin wallet. And you will have to have the Swamp Coin wallet in order to mine Swamp Coin. So, let's get to it. Um, a viewer has showed me his own pool, this Z. W E M B A D pool is one bot pool uh, that allows people to mine several different coins. In particular, Swamp Coin, Bell Coin, and Crane Pay are all under the Yes Power uh, al algorithm. There's also Yes Script, and then Script, and then X16R. But we're only going to be dealing with Swamp Coin and the miner to mine it. Fortunately, Zwembad um, pool has a convenient link right here. So you can check it either in my description or you can click here from the Zwembad pool itself. I already have it open here. It's a GitHub uh, link. And because I'm doing this on Windows 10, I will only be downloading the SRB Multi 047 Win64 mining tool. If you click on this, it shouldn't take very long to download. I'll be doing that again here. It's pretty small. It's like uh, 12. Uh, let me just make a point about this, and it's something that you guys should definitely consider when looking at this, is that uh, Windows 10 uh, default antivirus software will not like for you to do this. So if you know anything about this, and I can give you a little bit of help here, make sure that your virus and threat protection feature is turned off. This is not that hard to do. You just need to open your Windows security, go in here, turn this feature off by hitting manage section, turn off. Just turn it off or else Windows will not be happy about you in, uh, downloading and installing the software. Also, Chrome, if you're using, I'm using Chrome. Actually, this is still CryptoTad, but CryptoTad is Chrome. Also, Google does not like you mining coins on your computer, regardless of what computer you're using. So in order to prevent you from hurting yourself, or so they seem to think, uh, they will ask you if you really want to download this file because it has a dangerous, uh, well, they say dangerous script in it. Don't hit discard, hit keep so that you can actually keep this file. Now, if you keep the file, Windows, as I said before, if you didn't already turn off um, the virus threat protection here, it will probably, as soon as you get it onto the computer, it will probably destroy it or quarantine it. It's not a bad file. It's just the way Windows treats mining software. So go into that folder and then use the zip function, which is built into Windows, to unzip that file to wherever you feel is appropriate. And it should open that folder. So SRB miner, that's what you should be seeing. That's the name of the file. Like I said, if you if you turned off the security, then you'll be able to see this file. What it will try to get rid of is this executable here, this application. That's what it'll try to quarantine. So we need to go through the guided setup in this folder. Look for the little uh, batch file called guided setup and click on that. Now it's not gonna like you doing this. So more info, run anyway. You're saying Windows, I know what I'm doing. Thank you very much. I can do this, run anyway. So we're doing Swamp Coin, right? Swamp Coin. So type in the name Swamp. Now, this is the, as I said from Zwembad Pool here, it's the algorithm that's called Yes Power. So you can see there's have a list of algorithm names. Type in just Yes Power, Y-E-S-P-O-W-E-R. All right, so 
depending upon the pool that you want to work on. Now I have, I'm working with two pools. I'm working with Zembad pool first, and then I used through this um, mining pool stats website to find out who else is mining this. I wanted to know. You know, right now our plant here is a Russian site. They're uh, they're the the bulk, the gross bulk of all the people who are doing the mining. So you can mine with Zembad, of course. They they have a relatively small pool. Um, but our plant is the bigger one. I'm actually mining on both. And I'm going to show you how to do Zwembad just because it was the first one I started with. So Zwembad has instructions for how to set up. Now, they're in Europe. They're a German site. They don't have a North American site. So if you're like I am in North America, you're still going to have to mine to Zwembad, which is in Germany. And the only one they offer right now is the Euro one. So this is where it's not super complicated, but I will go over more detail to give you a better idea of how this is actually working. If you've done this before, skip ahead and just do it yourself. If you haven't, please continue to watch and I'll show you how this works. So, using this uh, setup guide, this guided setup, we need to know what the address and port, the uh, numerical port is. And I actually have it written down right here. This thing, you can literally copy this right off their website and just drop it in here. Stratum plus TCP, they're not doing a secure uh, connection. Colon slash slash to embed dot zapto dot org with the port number of 6344. And if you look over here, I think they actually show it. Yep, see, port number, there it is, Swamp Coin 6344. That's the port they want you to connect to in order to do this. So do that, hit enter. Now, there's no SSL, as I said before, so hit no. This is not nice hash, again, no. Now, the wallet, per that link up, I'll put it up in the corner. If you haven't already done this, you need to make sure that you get your um, address from your new wallet. You have to download the software to have this work. So, what's your address gonna be? Well, I have an address that I use. Um, let me see if I can pull that up here. The address should start with a W for this particular um, wallet and pool so you should always all your addresses should start with a w that's true of this one this is my wallet address enter um, in this case is one bad wants you to use this password right here c equals swamp copy that again go right back here and drop it in enter um, i usually do logging it's your right you can do whatever you, you want logging yes no it doesn't matter i just like to keep track of what i've done and then that's done. So, how do we see what we just did? We need to go into here, and it has now created this new batch file, and I'm gonna open the batch file, not run it, but rather open it so you can see what it looks like. And it's over here, so I'll bring it in. So, this is the command. This is literally what it runs. It sends this long string of characters and words and statements into the little executable program, which is this and then it starts running. Now, I already have one running. I'm not going to run this again, but I will show you, at least by stopping mine and restarting it, how it works. But let me at least talk about what this means here. Uh, so this is the executable. This is the command. It's calling run this with the algorithm yes power in the pools Wembod uh, to the wallet this name using the password this and then disable the GPU because this is CPU only and then log to this file. It's really quite simple. Uh, you can change any one of these features. You can even make copies of this uh, uh, executable. You can, you can see this other one, start mining e, uh, ethash, uh, random epic, random x. There's all kinds of other ways. You'd have to, of course, have pools to run them in. But you could change this statement here to a different pool name and a different port. As long as it still counted for that particular one, you could change the algorithm. You could, of course, change the wallet. Um, you can change the password. I wouldn't recommend that. I just keep it what, whatever they asked you to use. We're not doing CPU. There is one other function which I will, I can talk about in the future. I'll probably just leave it in the comments. If you have many, many more cores, like I do on my Ryzen 9 server, uh, you could do six cores, 12 cores, 24 cores, however many cores you want, or threads. They call them threads. And you just put in a different little, uh, what they call flags here. You could say dash dash CPU dash thread, and then the number of threads you wanted to run. Um, on this server, I only have eight, but if I'm gonna be running anything else, I wanna be 
not running too many to debt to tax the, com the computer down too much so typically you take half so if you have eight total just run four um, this will do that by default but if you wanted to run a different that's a customization um, pro I would say it's yeah it's it's more of a customization feature I'm not gonna go into more detail than that so let me turn off what I'm already running here which is this this is currently pointing at a different lace I'm gonna kill that function and I'm going to run this feature Okay, so this is running, and you can see it's already allocated some space and memory to actually start loading. Connected to the actual pool, the difficulty is relatively low. It's actually lower than one right now. Uh, the height of the blocks, this, many, this is how many blocks have been mined in total, uh, 184,000. Each block is worth 10, so you can tell exactly how many have been uh, created so far. In any case, this will run. If you want to see what's going on, you can see your total hash by hitting H tell you exactly how fast your system is running and you want to hit s it'll tell you exactly how long everything's been running where it's been running all the little details you might be interested in finding out about so that is the gist of how to set up a cpu miner for srb miner look it's already doing doing jobs and, and it should be really quick because once you start sending information like this the pool will already recognize it it will immediately recognize you can go to your wallet um and in this case, I'm already connected to my wallet. Here's my wallet name up here at the top, and it's already in this address bar. So you can actually search out explicitly and it'll tell you everything you're doing. Now this particular um, pays out every three hours, no matter how little you've put out, I believe it, it takes a minimum of one. But right now the, the difficulty is so low, it's gonna be really easy for you to create um, at least one swamp coin like i said one swamp coin i think i mentioned before in the other video is worth about 31 satoshi so it's got a pretty decent value and that's the reason i've been looking at this over doing crypto tab and that's anyways that's the way that you want to set it up please if you have any questions about how this works or how, if you're having any issues with it not running please leave a comment down below like i said this is only an instruction video i'm not trying to plug my channel on this at all this is just about how helping you get up set, set up with the srb miner Please, again, any questions? I appreciate the thumbs up. It's not necessary. Any questions, leave them down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.